Hello, this is Tom Allender of Inbound Marketing PR. Uh, today my guest is Matt Schisler. Matt is the CEO of Cord Blood America, which is traded on the over-the-counter bulletin board market under the ticker symbol CBAI. Matt, hey, how are you doing this morning? Great, Tom. How are you? I'm doing just fine. As we start off here, can you tell us about the business of Cord Blood America? Absolutely. Cord Blood America... We privately bank umbilical cord blood stem cells for families. That means as of today, families pay us to store stem cells uh, for uh, their use and their family's use. And uh, we've been doing that this since uh, 2003. All right. Now, why is it important for expectant parents to preserve umbilical cord uh, blood stem cells? The stem cells from the cord are shown to battle and cure over 75 different types of diseases, uh, mostly blood and immune disorders, uh, cancers, and uh, leukemia. Um, what they do, the, the, the cells in the umbilical cord, um, can repopulate the immune system similar to a bone marrow transplant. And what parents are doing is they're choosing to store the umbilical cord blood stem cells because they're a perfect match for that child and a very good chance they'll be matched for family members. So if, God forbid, that child would ever get sick and need to have some sort of stem cell transplant, which would traditionally been a bone marrow transplant. Rather than have to find a donor and then the donor be a match and then the body accept it, they actually have their own source of stem cells cryogenically frozen with us, so parents see this as a biological insurance policy. All right, Matt, uh, you've had a lot of news lately, uh, especially overseas outside of the United States, and specifically business units in uh, Germany, China, and South America how do you see these impacting Cord Blood America in 2010? Uh, Tom, sure. Let me just uh, just tell the audience real quick what each, each of those deals are. Uh, in Germany, uh, we purchased the majority position of a company called Stellacure, which is the third largest uh, Cord Blood banking company in Germany. And uh, we see them growing this year. Um, they're, they're not profitable yet, but they will be. I'm not sure if it will be this year or next year, but we're very focused on getting that there. They will probably do close to a million U.S. dollars in sales this year. And so just by acquiring the majority position, that will, uh, that will really improve Core Blood America's sales by 20, 20 to 30 percent year over year. Not only that, we see Stellacure as the anchor for uh, Europe, and the model is to recruit a number of different uh, companies throughout Europe to process and store with Stellacure and in their relationship with the German Red Cross um, in Frankfurt, Germany. So it's a very, very key uh, acquisition for us and a, and a nice anchor to put in into Europe. China, um, we signed a deal back in March which would um, make us a 10% owner and receive a royalty uh, from AXM Pharmaceuticals. And we are building the world's largest cord blood bank uh, in China. It's a 200,000 square foot facility. Um, we are. We just started uh, architecturally, and we're working on the, um, the, the plans now. We believe that that facility will be operational in early 2011. Now, we have an opportunity to start making revenue sooner than that, and we're working on building a temporary facility uh, right now. We have the land. We have the land. We have the space. So we hopefully we'll get sales sooner than we actually expected in China. And then in Argentina, we actually are only under a letter of intent to purchase BioCells, which is Argentina's second largest uh, cord blood bank. And again, similar to Ger Germany, we see uh, BioCells being the anchor for South America. They will probably add about $1.2 million in revenue uh, this year to Cord Blood America, which would then, again increase, increase our revenue by about 20 to 30 percent year over year. And they are profitable. So of the three, Tom, Germany and biocells are already processing and storing stem cell samples, already have a strong position in their markets, and they're going to add significant revenues uh, to Cord Blood America in 2010. And China is a, is a new venture, which we believe, in conjunction with a pharmaceutical company that's been licensed for other biological products uh, over in China, which it would be almost impossible to enter the Chinese market without a relationship with a company that's already been licensed and we expect to launch them in early 2011. Okay. All right, Matt, what are your goals for Cord Blood America over the next year? Okay. Three, three very simple goals, goals, and I call them the pillars to success. Uh, three pillars are organic growth, acquisition, and diversification of revenue streams. So organic growth is uh, growing our uh, domestic
domestic business model uh, using our insurance relationships, and there was an announcement that we have an agreement with uh, the National Labor Organization to work with all the Blue Cross plans, and now we're attempting to get each individual plan under contract so we can start more and more, growing more and more sales here domestically. Acquisition, you know, as you can tell, we have a, a pretty, uh, pretty strong appetite for acquisitions right now. We did purchase 51% of Stellacure. We intend to purchase a majority position in Biocell, at least that's what the letter of intent is. And I can assure you, Tom, that we are aggressively going after additional acquisitions here in 2010 because we believe with the economy stagnant, um, still in a recession period, that right now is a great time to execute an uh, acquisition roll-up strategy, and that's what we're going to do. And then last but not least is diversification of revenue streams. And we signed our true first diversification agreement a couple of months ago, um, collecting placentas and shipping them to another tissue bank uh, to process and store stem cells for actual uh, transplant. And so rather than just being in the business of cord blood stem cells, we want to be the world's largest stem cell storage company. But in order to do that, we need to diversify the types of revenue streams that come from stem cells. cells. So outside of cord blood, we signed our first contract using placental cells a couple months ago, and I think the investors will see us continue down that path of diversification this year in 2010. Okay, Matt. All right, I want to thank you for taking the time to do the interview with us uh, today, the first in a series of interviews. We really appreciate it. Thanks, Tom.